Right, we have our quick set all connected up, uh, as you can see there. And we're going to now start doing some programming on MatTalk to use the programmable capabilities of QuickStep. First thing we do is go over to the programming tab, as you can see there on MatTalk. And what we need to do is select a new program. To give you an idea there, you start by clicking one of the boxes here, and it gives us all our commands that we can actually use to actually program the stepper motor. The uh, first thing I'm going to do is set an operation mode, which will be position mode. So we want to do some moves backwards and forwards. And we'll then do a move operation. So we go to the picture of the car, and we'll do an absolute move. And we'll say we want to go a thousand counts. We can set our acceleration and our velocity of that, as you can see for that. next thing we'll do is we'll give a little bit of a weight in there so we can actually see it actually happening. So we'll wait for a time. And we'll say we'll wait for a thousand milliseconds. We can then do another move. Which we can then set, which we use an absolute position. We can set a zero. We'll keep the same speed and acceleration. We'll do another weight. Again, so we can see the actual moves. And you can see there. And then what we'll then do is we'll do a nice jump. Back to the start again. So what we'll do is we'll do an unconditional jump. As you can see it's asking us where the destination is. And we'll put it up there at the beginning. We can then transfer that into the motor. And then we can actually now see it operating. So it's now doing our absolute move waiting for a second and then going back to zero again. Actually very very simple programming. We also have a host of different other things we can do. We can set our outputs, we can do obviously our move operations, we can do unconditional jumps we've shown, we can do a conditional jump based on different inputs. We can wait for an input combination before continuing. We can work time we can also use the registers in the map motor and um, look at those and read and write to them as well. Um, we have our zero service options, we can set different positions, um, we also have binary commands and we can also have our calculator and jump to do mathematical functions.